Welcome back friends. Today's video is my part two follow-up video featuring the Cub Cadet Ultima ZTS2 54. So this is something brand new for 2022. It's a zero turn mower that has a steering wheel. So they have a synchro steer technology that's built into this. In my first video, I explained that a little bit. And then today's video, I'm gonna show you everything that I learned after using this mower for several hours and just give you some more insights to it and demonstrating it on some hillier and rougher terrain. So let's get this video started and you can see what I'm talking about. And there's one thing I want to say real quick, and that is a big thank you to Cub Cadet for sponsoring this video. Just the other day, my wife asked me if I could show her how to use this mower right here because she often likes to help out when needed with the lawn. So I came up with a sequence, which I recommend to get started with using this. It's gonna be a little bit different than some of the other lap bar zero turns that you might be used to. So let's move in, take a closer look, and I'll walk you through all the steps that I recommend. So first thing I recommend is checking your fuel level. I can see it's right there and that's not gonna be enough to mow for an entire hour. So what I'm gonna do is first top it off. Then on this side right here, this is where the oil dipstick is at and I like to make sure we're good. Yep, right on full. So once I'm on the mower, I recommend putting on some sunglasses or some clear safety glasses, depending on your sunlight situation. Then I also like to wear some hearing protection. I have these noise canceling Bluetooth headphones. I'll put these on in a second. So next thing to do before starting the mower is to change the height of the mower deck. So you might have to change it once you get underway, but I've been mowing my lawn long enough to know that this right here is probably going to be about three inches. That's a good starting point. In the summertime, things dry out for me around here. So two and three quarter is a good height there. So now we're gonna move the camera so you can see this command center over here for getting the mower started. So this right here is your throttle from slow with a turtle to a rabbit to fast. And then if you push it all the way forward, that's called the choke-o-matic. So you don't have to pull a button out to choke the engine. This engine has a carburetor, so you do have to choke it. So you just push it all the way forward right here, and then go ahead and turn the key. This mower has a safety feature if you want to mow in reverse. So after the mower is running, you move the key to the left, push that little orange triangle, a light comes on saying it's okay. Then go ahead and pull the mower deck on and you're ready to go. Here's an example of me mowing and doing a 180 degree turn. I've been mowing lawns for a good majority of my life and it goes all the way back until I was a kid and we had a garden style lawn tractor with the steering wheel and the way that I mowed the lawn was in a big circle. That seemed to be the easiest and what made sense. And then somewhere around 2005, after getting married and living out here, my wife and I bought a zero turn mower with the lap bar steering. And there we would just go back and forth and we'd mow like the stripes. So when this mower came out, a zero turn with the steering wheel, I was talking with the manager from Cub Cadet and asked him, what style of mowing do you do with this? Is it intended to mow in circles because it has a steering wheel? or because it's a zero turn, would you mow back and forth and try to get those stripes? So his answer is actually, you could really do both with it. So I'll just show you real quick. I'm gonna mow this little circle part twice. So we're gonna start out and I will mow it in the traditional circle method. So check this out. All right, and now I'll show you what it looks like mowing it with the stripes. All right, so what do you think? Please leave your comment down below. What style of mowing would you do, circles or stripes? So earlier I mentioned the synchro steer technology and I want to take a quick minute to point out the advantages of it. So the first thing is when you're turning your wheel this way, 
the wheels are locked in place. So that is pushing you in the direction that you're gonna go. So if you happen to be new to zero turn mowers, the lap bar style, they don't have any control. The wheels just freely turn. And the only way that the mower turns is by the rear wheels. But with the synchro steer technology, you have the rear wheel. If you're gonna go that direction, you're gonna get more power from this side, pushing you that way. And you're also gonna get the front wheels which have excellent tread on them, pushing you in the direction that you're gonna go. So once again, on a traditional zero turn, the wheels don't have this type of tread. They tend to be really smooth. So I also brought this mower to another location that has some bigger hills than here. And then it also has some landscape beds with a lot of curves around it. And I did feel like this mower performed very well on those conditions. You can see it's just going around this hill. It's really designed to stay straight on the side of a hill, but I did make some turns going upward and this really performed very well. So the tires on here give it really nice grip and it handles hills that are up to 20 degrees. So the ones that I went on were somewhere between 15 and 18. I haven't pushed this yet to 20 degrees to see how it works, but so far I'm very happy with the results. So another thing I like about this mower right here, besides the cut quality, is all the features that went in to make it comfortable. Let me show you a quick look. All right, so first of all, we have this premium high back seat right here. Very comfortable and it's adjustable, has the armrest included, and it has a soft touch steering wheel. Very comfortable. And then looking down here, we have these rubber floor mats, which help to dampen the vibration. The nice thing about a steering wheel is you can mow with one hand. So if you want to put a drink in that cup holder right there, you can do so and mow with one hand. And then if I fold the seat up right here, you'll see these isolators right there. So that just adds to the comfort of the ride. So then if you're wondering what accessories you can get for the mower, there is a hitch on the back. So I'm using my own wagon right here. It's a dump cart. And Cub Cadet also offers a pull behind wagon that you can check out on the website. I believe it has some type of fold up option to make it easy storage. So on the mower deck right here, there's a little silver plate that says deck wash compatible. So I believe it's somewhere like around $20. You can add that onto it. So then if you're into mulching your grass, you can buy a mulch kit from this. I'll have a link down below on the Cub Cadet website where you can check it out. And one other accessory that I'm aware of is a stripe kit that you can put on here. So if you want more distinguished looking stripes, that's something I'd recommend checking out. All right, so I'm hoping that between my first video and this video right here that I've been able to answer all your questions so you can see if this mower is right for you. If there's something that I left out that you wanna know, please put a question down below or also your comments. Please share your thoughts. And then I'll also, as I mentioned, have a link down below where you can check out more specs on this mower right here. And at the very end of this video, I'll have where you can click on the first video to watch that. And I'll also have a short playlist I put together just for you that will feature some other Cub Cadet videos that I think will be very informative, some to do with the maintenance and then some to do with some other mowers that they offer as well. And then finally, I'd like to thank Cub Cadet for partnering with me to make this video possible. I think this is something that's gonna be really exciting for the new upcoming lawn season. So if you enjoy this video and find it interesting, helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.